In this short video, we shall describe how to use the replay function in Sierra Chart software. First of all, we shall select the Trade tab and check the Trade Simulation mode on. In this way, we will make sure that we are only performing a paper trading and are not risking our live trading capital. Furthermore, in the same tab, tick the Open window for trade chart. It will open this kind of a window, which will enable us trading directly from the chart. In order to make our trading more comfortable, we can also check the item Attach window to trade chart. In such a case, the window and the menu will become a direct part of our trading chart. It will not hide the chart data, but will be placed on the left side in a separate zone. Then we shall check that the item Chart Trade Mode On is selected. At this stage, it should already be automatically checked. Next, we shall select the item Show Orders and Positions and Show Order Fills. For better orientation in the chart, we can set the candles not to be drawn right to the end of the chart area. To do that, we will use this button to move the chart to the point which suits us the best. There will appear an empty space and the last candle will be drawn here. In order not having to do it manually every time when opening the chart, we can fix the space by a function lock fill space in the chart tab. This space will now remain permanently locked in the chart. And now nothing more prevents us from using the replay function. The function can be run from the Chart tab and function Replay Chart. It will open a separate window which we can move to an area where it doesn't hide any chart data. Here you can set the charting speed value. For a start we can set the value of 10. It means that in a 2 minute chart the candlesticks get drawn 10 times faster. To be able to use the replay function we need to move the chart back to history in order to be able to start trading on historical data. Using this button we shall move to the point in the chart from which we shall start trading. Let's presume it's going to be this point. Now we shall click the play button and the candles will start appearing 10 times faster than normal. At this point we can also open a trading position. In case we preset the attached trading orders, they will appear on the chart together with the open position. You can see that here is the attached stop loss and here is the profit target. If we wanted the candlesticks to be drawn even faster, we could always press the pause button and set a higher speed rate. This time we can set for instance the speed of 60. After pressing play again, the candles will be charted much faster. We shall wait a while for the market to hit our profit target. And then we shall see where we can check and further analyze our trade results.
At this point, the market already reached our profit target. So, we stopped the replay function, closed this window, and opened the tab Trade and Trade Orders and Positions. We can enlarge this window as we wish. You can see here, when we entered the position, that it's a simulated trading. We entered the trade by market sell order at this value. Here, you can see the two attached orders which opened at the time of entering our position. And you can also see that it was the limit order which got executed. It means that the market reached our profit target and the other order got automatically cancelled. If we moved the cursor back in time to the point on the chart where we realized our trade, we will also see these arrows which mark the points where we entered and exited the trading position. The arrows are displayed because we checked the Show Order Fills function. If you wanted to learn more about exchange trading, please watch our other videos or follow our website. Of course, you are welcome to our courses of successful trading, which are available both in class and online form. We wish you a lot of success in your trading.